The Introduction of LS236 Car Paint Meter LS236 Car Paint Meter is small and portable, with dual-screen design for easy reading. It employs durable ruby probe and can avoid the deviation result from the abrasion. The instrument is easy to operate. It is fast and responsive, and can complete a test in 0.5 seconds. The data is stable when measuring same position of the car more than once. The instrument can identify iron, iron zinc, aluminum car body, and non-metal. There are three backlit screen displays, depending on the data. It has a maximum measuring range of 3,500 microns. Cooperate with mobile phone app online detection, it can record the test data of up to 19 different parts of the car. And the instrument can generate a complete test report for sharing. The instrument can work normally in the minus 40 degrees Celsius environment and is super resistant to low temperatures and the top screen is not catonied or become white screen. How to tell if a used car has hidden repairs using the LS236 car paint meter. Generally, if a car has been painted in a repair shop, the thickness of the coating will increase and if a sheet metal happens to a car, there will be scraped on the car with ferrous putty. When the paint thickness of the car is very abnormal, you can tell that the car has been repainted. When the data is greater than 350 microns, the car is suspected to be repaired by the sheet metal, the screen backlight is red, also accompanied by two warning beeps. When the data is between 170 and 350 microns, the car is suspected to be painted and the screen is backlit in yellow, accompanied by two warning beeps. When the data is less than 170 microns, it is normal paint thickness and the screen of the instrument is displayed with white backlight. In order to disguise a repaired used car as a new car, some garages will intentionally use ferrous putty to repair the vehicle to escape the inspection from most car paint meters on the market. However, LS236 can recognize the suitation. When discovering ferrous putty, the screen will turn red and indicate ferrous putty, accompanied by two warning beeps. How to set the language, measurement mode, and units? Press and hold the power button after switching off to enter the setting interface. Long press to confirm to enter the options. Display language are English, Russian, Turkish, and Chinese available. Short press the button to select the right language and long press the button to confirm your choice. The instrument has three measurement modes. Fe slash L means automatic measurement mode, Fe means ferrous substrate mode, L means aluminum substrate mode. There are two units to choose from. Micron and mil respectively. Enter the measurement interface after selection. How to complete a zero adjustment of LS236 car paint meter. When the meter can't recognize the ferrous putty or iron galvanized body, the ambient temperature changed greatly, or the battery replaced, LS236 need to complete the zero adjustment. Zeroing needs to be carried out on the iron and aluminum zeroing plates, both of which are indispensable. The method is simple. Hold the notch with your fingers, press the instrument vertically against the plate press and hold the power button for threes until the screen appears instructions. Follow the prompts. When the screen shows the data 0.0, .0 a zero adjustment is complete. Test the plate again and 0.0, .0 value indicates a successful zero adjustment. Then testing a standard film to verify the accuracy of the meter.
Next, start a zero adjustment on the aluminum zeroing plate and repeat all the above steps. Some cautions for using LS236. In Fay measurement mode, you can only test the paint thickness of the iron car body, but not the paint thickness of the aluminum car body. The same in the L mode. The LS236 is ideal for testing the paint thickness of used cars and inspecting the quality of vehicles.